one. Yes, I'm in a new little location, but literally I'm just like two feet away from my bed. Yes, guys, one year ago on July 4th week, I did a complete Blu-ray collection. And I have to tell you right now, it was a small collection. Comparing to what I have now, it is amazing of what I got now. Like, I really do have, like, a lot more. I have little toys now. I have more toys up there, but you can't see it in the frame. Let's see if you can see it right there, as you can tell, with the Mad Max poster and all the stuff up there. Alright, let's make sure you're framed. Alright, good. So this is going to be a long video, and so I'm going to go through it, and this time, I made sure to put it in alphabetic order. So this time, everyone can just skip through and see if I had this movie, that movie, I put it in alphabetic order. I hope I did at least, because it took me a long time to do this, and I got a brand new shelf, and I might put my dress poster right here, and this might be my new filming location. So I'm pretty excited, guys. It's going to be a long video. So let's get started, guys. It's going to take me forever to edit, but I'm super excited. I'm here with my Jurassic Park shirt, and I'm here with my Star Wars PJs, you can tell. So I'm excited. So let's get started. The first movie in my Blu-ray collection is one of the movies that came out this year, and is one of my favorites of the year. That is 10 Cloverfield Lane. I have to say, this is a great movie. Even the ending. People told me, like, this is a good movie, this is a good movie. I think this is a great movie. It's an original movie, and I enjoy it so freaking much. I love 10 Cloverfield Lane. Michael Bay has directed so many films, and there have been crap films, and there's been some good ones like The Rock, and this is a good one. 13 Hours, which also came out this year, an enjoyable army film, a good true story, a good movie. It's not the best movie, or it's a little slow in the beginning, but I still like the movie, and I still like watching with my mom and dad. But really, I bought this movie when my mom was out of town, and my dad and me were like, what's that? What's out on Blu-ray? It was on sale for $12, so bam, I gotta got it. Two of my favorite comedies I have seen in the past couple years, and that is 21 Jump Street and 22 Jump Street. Two of the funniest movies I've seen in a long time. I love these movies. These movies, they're just so good. Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum, they work together so well. It's ridiculous. I love these films. They're so funny and enjoyable. And I can watch them at like springtime, like like spring break. I watched the second one, and then I watched the first one come once go on TV. But I still enjoy, it, and I and there are some quotable parts in these movies, and I really enjoy these movies a lot. I cannot wait to see them being men in black. It's gonna be so cool, even though it might be suck. But still, I'm really excited. And I cannot wait. If you want to know something about me, I hate veins and arteries, and this movie is the reason why I hate veins and arteries. And that is 127 hours. Listen, this is a great movie, a great ending, with an ending that just makes me so cringeworthy. I can't even watch it, because it makes me like just like, oh, I'm just like, oh, stop! I can't do that crap, man. This, this movie is so inspirational, and it's such a good movie. For one guy, James Franco, stuck in a rock, and that is that good. Listen, I love Spielberg, and I love Peter Jackson, but this movie could have been so much better. But I'll say this, it's the better Indiana Jones that we got than Crystal Skull, and that is The Adventures of Ten Ten. Listen, I like this movie. It's a good animated movie, and it's a good, fun Indiana Jones movie. It's the, movie, it's the Indiana Jones movie we needed than Crystal Skull, in my opinion. Two of my favorite sci-fi movies of all time, my, one of my favorite horror movies and action movies, and that is Alien and Alien. Two really good movies. I can't tell you which one I like more. I love Alien, but Aliens is such a good action movie. It's so different from this movie. I just, I love them both, but I do not own any of the other ones because they suck really, really bad. There is only one reason why I own this movie. It's because it was one of my first Blu-rays and we got like, we needed a Blu-ray to watch our new Blu-ray player and that's Alice in Wonderland. I, I'll say I like this more than the new one. I'll say that, but this one is just... You could skip it. Who in the million of years would have thought Paul Rudd is the next superhero? And that is Ant-Man. Ant-Man is such a great movie. I love this movie. It's one of my favorite Marvel movies. I just love the idea of this Ant-Man and he just going small and run through things and I can punch anything. And he's so good in Civil War. If you haven't seen Civil War, Ant-Man is one of the best scenes in Civil War. One of my dad's favorite movies of all time and the one film that he actually kind of teared up on and that is American Sniper. Listen, Clay Eastwood is one of the... He's, he's a classic. Classic guy, it's Clint Eastwood. It's Clint Eastwood. And Bradley Cooper gives a great performance in American Sniper. Listen, this is a really good movie, and when I gave the review out, I gave it like a two when I did do numbers. 
that's that's a, that's got to be changed because this is a great movie and I really do enjoy this movie a lot. David O. Russell has made some great films like The Fighter and many other films, but this is my favorite artificial movie so far, and that is American Hustle. American Hustle is a great movie with great acting, a great setting. It's just, this is all around a great movie that got a lot of Oscar nominations, and people say it's overrated. I understand where they're coming from, but I still really like this movie. American Psycho. This movie is insane, and I loved it. I never, I never saw this movie until like last year when I finally saw it. I was like, "What is this movie?" And now it's one of my favorite movies. I'll never forget seeing like trailers and like people talking about this movie. I was like, "I gotta see this movie." And when I saw it, I, I just, I needed to buy it. I needed to see it. And this movie is one of Christian Bale's best performance by far. Listen, I'm not a fan of these movies anymore. I only buy them because he's my favorite superhero of all time. And that is the both Amazing Spider-Man's. Um, if you just, these movies have so much issues, I can't say I love these films, but there's just too many issues in my opinion, but I still can enjoy them in ways, not really, I can, I, yeah. One of my favorite directors and a great actor, and that is Ben Affleck, and this is the one that got him the Oscar. Argo is a great film. It's so interesting and super intense. I love Argo. It's one of like, the best films I've ever seen. Argo is great. If you're a superhero fan, then you know you have to own both these films, and that is Avengers 1 and Avengers 2. Listen, it's the Avengers. They're great movies. They're fun movies. Even though this one gets a lot of hate, I own a poster right over there. I love the Avengers Age Ultron. I love the first one. These two, they're just good movies, and I cannot wait for Infinity War. Infi Infinite War? Infinite, Infinity War. Yeah, that's it. But I'm waiting for that. And these two, they're just they're super good movies. Probably the most overrated movie of all time, but it's still a really good Blu-ray and a really good movie in my opinion, but that is Avatar. Avatar, yes. I don't have the original cover, but it's the big pack, whatever you see right here. Yeah, Avatar, it's a good movie. It's a good Blu-ray, and I I cannot believe they're making like four more. Why? I want to give a big shout out to Durant Cinema because if I never saw this video on, on that day I saw it, I would have never gotten this. And that is the steel book to the ultimate trilogy of Back to the Future. Back to the Future is an amazing trilogy. I love all three of them. I don't care. If you don't like the second one, I love the thick one. I love it. I love it so much. It's so good. I love it. I love them. Like, honestly, this is such a good steal. Like, look at it. The DeLorean. It's just... This is an awesome steelbook, and it's a great trilogy, and if you've never seen them, then get out, because you need to see Back to the Future. Listen, this is probably one of my favorite trilogies of all time. I love all three of them. A lot of people hate the third one, but you know, it's, it's alright, because I love all three of them. That is the Dark Knight trilogy. Batman Begins on the steelbook, because that's awesome. Look how awesome that looks. The Dark Knight, because it's the Dark Knight. It's the Dark Knight. And Dark Knight Rises, which is a good movie. It's a good movie. I don't care about any plot holes or how I got back in Gotham. It's a good movie. And I enjoy it. And I love it. I love them all. But I have to admit, Ben Affleck is a great Batman. One of my favorite childhood movies and favorite movies ever. That's big. This is just a good movie. Did you know that Tom Hanks was nominated for Best Actor? For this. That just tells you how good of an actor this is. This is a great movie. You've never seen Big. You're missing out on a classic. I'm the dude. You, I'm the dude. Well, that's just your opinion, man. The Big Lebowski in its best edition. Look at this still book. A White Russian. That is a still book. I love this film. This movie is smart with great story and it's super quotable. I quote this movie all the time. It's so funny. I love The Big Lebowski and please, if you've never seen it, don't look anything up. Just watch it. It is so funny. Freaking amazing. I love I laugh every single time I watch this movie. I laugh every time. A movie a movie that actually grew on me more than I watched it, and that is the big short. Listen, this is a good movie. It's just hands down. It's a good movie. I'm glad it won an Oscar because this is one of the best films of last year. And it makes me mad because I didn't put on my list. But I still really like the movie. It grew on me. I had to watch it again and again to really get it. So I have to admit, the big short, if you've not seen it. Please watch it. It's one of the best films of last year. One of my most controversial ratings I've ever given, and people just got mad at me, but I own the movie, and I love the movie. Birdman, the best picture of 2014. Listen, Birdman's amazing. Birdman is one of the best films I've ever seen get directed. The directing in this movie is flaw. 
Liss. It's an amazing film, and it's one of the best films I've ever seen in the 21st century that's so original. That is the truth, and I, I swear it. I, I swear it, and I'm glad it won Best Picture. To all the haters out there that hate this movie, Bridge of Spies, directed by Steven Spielberg, one of my favorite movies of last year. I love this film. It might be slow, I will admit that, but it's so good. It's so interesting. The acting is on point by Mark Rylance and Tom Hanks. Spielberg, Keep making great films, and so, and so far, you're doing great. Just make Indiana Jones 5 good. Please make that good. Please, please, please make that good. I'm going to tell you the truth. I liked the movie when I saw it, but I never saw me buying this movie, and that is the Black Mass on Blu-ray. There's the story. My grandma bought it on DVD, and I was like, oh, my grandma doesn't know I collect blu ray So I took it to Target, and I traded it back, and so I got the Blu-ray. It's a good movie. I just, I, I wouldn't... I didn't think I'd ever buy it, but it's still a good movie. It definitely by Johnny Depp. Best performance he's given a long. This series I actually will be reviewing very soon, and that is the Bourne series. Yes. Listen, these three films right here, these are gold. Like, I love these films. This one on their hand, it's it's got major problems. It's not like the original three, but I still like the Bourne Legacy. But I am I'm, I'm excited for Jason Bourne. I, these movies are childhood, and they're so good, and I will admit it. I'd rather watch all of these movies than watch any of the Jason, I mean, um, James Bonds, honestly. Freedom! Braveheart. Love Braveheart. Braveheart is amazing. I love it. Mel Gibson, just, you can't beat Mel Gibson in that kind of hair. No way. No way. One of the best TV series of all time, Breaking Bad, yes man, Breaking Bad is one of the best shows ever made. I need to own the collection set. It is amazing. Every season, it just, it never has the weakest season. It, every episode is directed so well. It is acted so well. This series, it's top three favorite TV shows of all time. I admire the show. I study off the show. It is an amazing show. Please watch Breaking Bad on Netflix if you haven't. And if you want to watch Better Call Saul, you can watch that too. But Breaking Bad. Watch Breaking Bad. Captain America the First Avenger and Captain America the Winter Soldier. Two really good movies, but we all know it. Winter Soldier, I mean, Civil War is way better. I'm sorry. I, I, I love Civil War, but these two are really good, especially Winter Soldier. Love Winter Soldier. First Avenger, it's a really good movie. But it's definitely a movie I couldn't rewatch. I like I can rewatch this all the time. Like I pop this in any time and watch it. And I think I can do the same when Civil War comes out. I'm gonna buy that on Blu-ray. I can't wait. But I still am very much enjoy Captain America. It's definitely one of the best Marvel movies, honestly. I'm telling you right now, I have a bunch of Tom Hanks movies, and this is just another one. Captain Phillips is a great film. Like honestly, Paul Greengrass is one of my favorite. He's one of my top ten favorite directors of today. And he knows I direct a film. And this movie is so freaking intense. I love it. It's definitely a movie I have to watch every, like, November Thanksgiving time. I don't know why. I don't know why. It's just, it's a Thanksgiving time movie that I watch. Pretty funny how I just said I have a lot of Tom Hanks. Well, guess what? Here comes another Castaway. Um, Castaway's a classic. If you've never seen it, please watch it. It's, it's so good. Like, I mean, like, for one actor, Tom Hanks, to lead a movie on his shoulders, this is that movie. It's an amazing film, and I love it. Like, I love Castaway. Wilson! This movie makes me tear up every time. A really, really fun horror movie. I don't care. Everyone says I enjoy this movie because every Halloween I can just enjoy this movie so much. And that is The Cabin in the Woods. This movie is so smart in a dumb way. That I just, I love how fun it is. I, it's, it, it pokes fun at horror movies and it does it in its own way. And that is why this movie is so freaking good. I have admitted before, James Bond is not my favorite spy movies ever. But I do have to admit, Casino Royale is definitely a great movie. Even though I hate this case, I still love Casino Royale. It's really well directed, it's super smart, and the action is, just, the action is amazing. I don't care what anyone says about this movie. This is a family movie. It's This movie is in my heart forever. Every Christmas Eve, me and my family, we sit down, we watch this movie, Christmas Vacation. It, it, you've never seen Christmas Vacation. You've never seen one of the best Christmas movies of all time. Hands down. This is one of the best Christmas films ever. And it's best comedy, honestly. This film, it, it's a classic in my family, and we enjoy it every Christmas Eve. Once again, one reason I love this movie is because we needed a Blu-ray to watch on Blu-ray player, and that is A Christmas Carol. Listen, I don't hate this movie. But I never watch it. Never. Like, I can never see myself. I watched, I watched like, once last year because I was, like, sick from home, like, school. And it was Christmas time. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to watch a Christmas Carol. And I enjoyed it. But overall, it's 
It's definitely not like the best Disney film ever. Just like 10 Cloverfield Lane, like, it's like, it's right there. I can, yeah, it's like right there. One of my favorite movies of the year. Well, that was a sequel slash cousin to Cloverfield, which is one of the best found footage movies I've ever seen. Like, if you've never seen this film, get ready for an intense ending. The ending, it just, it gets in my gut. It's like, and it's like, yeah, we're gonna end it like that because we're amazing. Clash of the Titans and Wrath of the Titans. My dad loves this film and he hates this film. I hate this film and I like the movie. What a great combination. Listen, if you ever seen me talk about horror movies, I'm gonna mention this movie, The Conjuring. The Conjuring is one of the best horror films, in my opinion, I've ever seen, ever. And The Conjuring 2, if you've not seen The Conjuring 2, go see The Conjuring 2. Conjuring 2, in my opinion, is better than the first one. I, I, I have admit it. I love the first one, and I love the second one. I heard so much cheesy fun from this movie, and I finally sat down and watched it. Con Air! <laughs> this movie is so dumb, but it works in that dumb, fun way. Like, it really works. Even though I'm not a big fan of Nicolas Cage, I can still sit down and enjoy this movie very, very much. The most underrated films of all time, and I grew up watching this movie, always being scared of Tom Cruise because of this movie, Collateral. Collateral is such a good movie. Like, I mean, such well-directed. Like, I mean, it is intense. When they are sitting in this cab, you're like, is he gonna shoot him? Is he gonna shoot him? Is he gonna shoot him? Like, it's, it's, it's intense. It is, I love Collateral. One of my favorite movies of last year, and I know for a fact people were like, why is it not higher on the list? Well, it's because I like other movies more, but still, I really like this movie, and that is Creed. Creed is awesome. And he, right there, he, that man right there, yeah, it should have been Academy Award winner for Best Supporting Actor. I'm sorry, Mark Rylance. You were great, I swear. Just give it to Slot. Give it, give, give it to Sylvester Stallone. I don't know. I don't know. I'm the man of the law. I'm Rocky. Well, you want to fight me? This movie stole Leo's Oscar. Dallas Buyers Club. It, it, it stole Leo's Oscar. That's all I can say. I don't know if this is my top one favorite movie of the year so far or second movie, and that is Deadpool, man. Deadpool is the is like one. It's the funniest superhero movie I have ever seen. Deadpool is awesome. Like. Like this case, the Blu-ray and everything, like it, this, it literally, it's just reeking Deadpool. Deadpool is amazing. Like, I mean, this is not a bad movie at all. Like, I mean, this is a true great movie. And it's, it's, it's Deadpool. Deadpool's awesome. Every time I see this movie, um, I talk to my mom. My mom's from Boston. So every time I see this movie, I'm like, all right, mama, say, say the word. The Depotted. Depotted. I love this movie. I grew up watching this movie, and I've always loved this movie. It's definitely one of my top ten favorites of, like, of all time. I love The Departed. You pick a mother. Die Hard! Yes, I love Die Hard. This is the only Die Hard I own. Unfortunately, I really want to get the third one, maybe the fourth one. I'm not owning the fifth one, and I'm not a big fan of the second one, but the first one I had to own. Die Hard is just... It's, it, it's Die Hard. Yippee-ki-yay, Mathendo! Unchained. Django Unchained is one of my favorite Tarantino movies. It's not my top favorite Aunt Tarantino. We'll get to that movie. But Django is my probably my second favorite or third. Pulp Fiction is probably above. I don't know. But I know my number one. But this is either number two or three. But Django, this is just a great movie. This is probably the weirdest movie in my collection. Donnie Darko. I like it. It's weird. But I like it. Hey. Want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? Dumb and Dumber. Um, uh, what can I say about Dumb and Dumber? It's... It's Dumb and Dumber. You can look at the case and say what kind of movie this is. Dumb and Dumber is awesome. I, I don't care if you hate the second one. I love the classic Dumb and Dumber with Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels. I want to make a correction for my Blu-ray collection last year. I said this movie was ill, but honestly, I do prefer this movie over The Hangover Part 3, and that is Due Date. Due Date is a funny movie. I don't understand why this movie gets hate. Them two chemistry is so good. Like, this is an underrated comedy. I love Due Date. Another Christmas time favorite movie in my house, and that is Elf. Elf is awesome. I don't care. Elf is so quotable, and it's so good. Like, Will Ferrell, like, I... I want to say, I want to see a sequel, but then again, I just know they couldn't get the magic. But John Favreau, with Jungle Book, he can do anything right now. One of my favorite Spiel Spielberg movies of all time E.T. E.T. man. E.T. is awesome. This is like the best kid friendship, whatever you want to call it. It's one of the best movies of all time and it should have won Best Picture. Not freaking Gandhi. E.T. should have won. That's how we and these movies were playing on Stars On Demand to premiere this new show. And I was watching and I was like, this is really good. Evil Dead, man. 
I love how this movie, it, if you watch it, you're like, dang, they, you can tell they don't have a lot of money. But then again, Evil Dead 2 is like the best comedy ever. I love Evil Dead 2. And to top it all off, Army of the Darkness is also so much fun. The, this trilogy, like, it is honestly a perfect tr trilogy. The first one, it's just, it's really a gritty, cheap horror film. And it's so good. I love the darkness. Like, I love it. These two are more of a comedy, but they're both really good movies in my opinion. And I can definitely, anytime, just sit down and watch all three of these movies. On, especially in Halloween. Halloween, I can sit down and watch this whole trilogy. I'm going to do it now for every Halloween. One of my dad's favorite movies of all time, and that is any, Every Which Way But Loose and Any Which Way You Can. Clint Eastwood, and it's an ape. What can you say? It's it's gold. It's a gold mine. Movie I know I should have put in my top 10 last year, Ex Machina. I love this film. It's so good. It's so original. And I just, I, it makes it mad because I, I, I know I should have put in my top 10 list because like, it, it's such an original movie. It's so claustrophobic. I love Alicia Vikander in this movie. I'm glad she won the Oscar. But she should have won it for this. I love this movie so much, though. It's so good. Oh, no. I'm Rocky Balboa, man. Now I'm in The Expendables. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was all right. I directed it. Though. I did a good job, right? Oh, no, no. Uh, Expendables 2, though? Oh, this is so much fun. So, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Listen. This, this franchise is so much fun. I don't care what anyone says. I enjoy watching these movies every once in a while. All the Fast and Furious movies. One, a really good rip off of Point Break. Two, an enjoyable movie with awesome cars. Three sucks. Four sucks. Five is awesome. Like, it is awesome. Six knew what it was. It's a dumb, fun action movie. And seven got ridiculous fun, but it's from the director of James Wan, and he did Conjuring, so he did a good job. Yay. Oh, yeah, and Fargo, yeah, no Fargo, yeah. The TV show is a lot better, yeah, yeah, a lot better. But this movie, very good, very, that's not even, <laughs> what is that? It doesn't even Minnesota anymore. But yeah, the Fargo's a good movie, but I like this show just a little bit more to the first season. Season two was really good. I have to admit, first season, Man, that, that, that show is good. But the movie is also really good. I love the I love the movie. It's a great Coen Brothers movie. Euler. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Classic. It's, it's, it's an awesome movie. I love how he breaks the fourth wall. I remember sitting down watching this a couple years ago for the first time, and I was just like, it's, a, it's such a charming movie. I want to be like him. I want to be like him so bad. David Fincher might make some of the best films ever, but in my opinion, this is my third favorite film of his, and that is Fight Club. One room about Fight Club. Don't talk about Fight Club. But guess what? I just talked about Fight Club. Oh no. I might run. <laughs> I reviewed it a few weeks back and that is Finding Nemo. Finding Nemo is one of my favorite like animated movies of all time. It's an amazing movie. It's one of my favorites of all time. I can sit down and watch this movie any single day, anytime. I don't care. I will sit down and I will watch Finding Nemo. This is probably my second favorite movie of all time and it's the most quotable movie of all time. Forrest Gump. It's Forrest Gump. It's Forrest Gump. If you've never seen Forrest Gump, then you need to see Forrest Gump. Bubble Gump Strip. My mom always told me life's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. I love, I love Forrest Gump. I don't care. The Fugitive. Um, Harrison Ford, not Han Solo or Nina Jones, and he's still awesome. Fugitive is one of my favorite intense movies, and when I first watched this, the twist in the very end, I never saw it coming, which was a great feeling, and I love this movie so much. It's so good. Game of Thrones Season 1, an awesome first season. Game of Thrones Season 2, my probably weakest season, but still an amazing season. Game of Thrones Season 3, probably... Oh, I love Season 3. Oh, I love Season 3. Game of Thrones Season 4, probably my favorite season, but then again... Game of Thrones Season 5, my favorite season. Um, I love Game of Thrones, all the seasons. Like, this is an amazing show. It's pro I have to say it. I might like the show just a little bit more than Walking Dead. I have to admit it. I love Walking Dead. I love Walking Dead. But I just, I love Game of Thrones a lot. If you've never seen it, you're missing out on the best shows I've ever made. Daniel Day Rules was completely raw from an Oscar. Gangs in New York. One of Martin Scorsese's. One, oh, I love this movie so much. Daniel Day Lewis, his performance in this movie is so frightening. It is so good. Like, it's a long movie. It's got some pacing issues, and Cameron Diaz might be an awful actress in this movie. No offense, Cameron Diaz, if you're watching this. But if you're watching, please like it and subscribe. It'd be awesome. Anyways, it's a great movie. It's one of my favorite Scorsese films of all time. I love it so much. 
There's a reason why everyone is hating on the new Ghostbusters, and that is why, because everyone loves the original. Yes, I have the little book thing, yeah, it's with one and two, of course, as you can tell, for, it's Ghostbusters. It's, 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 it's Ghostbusters, you know, like, I'm looking at me, it's Ghostbusters, people, it's Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters! Yeah, yeah, yeah! I am, <laughs> I'm losing it! Let them fight, Godzilla! Godzilla is one of the best films ever I've ever seen. It is so good that I think that every other version of Godzilla cannot even stand to this. And I cannot wait for Godzilla vs. King Kong because it's going to be so good. Ah, Godzilla. Whew, I love Godzilla. It's so, it's, it's, well, it's so well directed. And that's why I'm excited for Rogue One. Because the guy who did this, Gareth Edwards, is going to do that. And that is the reason why I'm excited. Because he did this movie. And this movie is so awesome. I don't care if they didn't show Godzilla enough. This movie is good. I love it. You better watch it. I have a poster right over there. That's how much I like it. I have a poster. A movie that is so good. Like, I mean, this movie is so good. But the ending pisses me off way too much for me to watch it ever again. That is Gone Girl. I love how it gives you, like, a book thing in this. It's, it's pretty weird, but still. Gone Girl is one of my favorite David Fincher movies. Probably my top four, three. I don't know. It's, it's Gone Girl is a great movie. One of my favorites of 2013? 14. It was 14. It was 14. Gone Girl was amazing. Don't say that! Don't say that! Goonies never say die. The Goonies. I love the Goonies. This is childhood. I grew up watching this. When I watch this movie, I'm like, I want to be like that. I want to have a group. I want to go on an adventure. But that's why I watch this movie every day, because it's so good. You think I'm a clown? You call me a clown? Am I phony to you? Good fellas, probably it's right next to the departed in my favorite Scorsese. Well, actually there's one more. Sorry. There's a poster over there. I'll get to you soon. Don't worry, I'll get to you. But anyways, Good Fellas is a great film. So well acted. The dialogue in this movie is so good. I just love this movie so much. Sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll turn the camera off for this scene. A movie when I watched it, I bawled like a little girl. Good Will Hunting. Man, this is a good movie. Matt Damon and Ron Williams. This is acting right. This is acting. This movie got so much hate, it makes me so mad. Goosebumps, man. I love it. I don't know why everyone hates this movie. I so enjoyed it. I sat in the movie thing and I was like, this is a good movie. I enjoyed this movie. It's a good movie. Jack Black, he's funny too. Ah! Once again, childhood. And this childhood movie scared the crap out of me. Gremlins! Yeah, man! Gremlins! I actually have a Mogwai, all, as you can tell, right next to Mad Max. I have a Mogwai. You know why? Because this movie, it's so good. Like, I mean, it's such a... It's... Oh, I love Gremlins so much. Love it. I actually watched this movie for the first time in January of this year. Bawled my eyes out like a little girl. The Green Mile. Oh my god. What a great... I'm not, like... This is just a great movie. There's no other words. It's an amazing movie. It will make you cry, and it will make you laugh. This It's a three-hour movie that feels like it's 20 minutes. It is so good. A movie that gets so much hate that I don't understand why it gets so much hate. Gravity, man. Gravity is the crap, dude. I love this movie. It's so intense in the CGI and the directing. Mwah. I don't know if I saw this movie at the right time or if it's just because I'm such a Leo fan, but I really like this movie, and that's The Great Gatsby. I really like this movie. Like, I don't understand why I get so much hate. I can understand for the CGI, and they could have used not CGI so much, but still, Leo, man, look at that. That, that's an Oscar winner now. <laughs> yeah, baby. My twin brother stars in this movie. Guardians of the Galaxy, Chris Pratt. I'm supposedly, look, I look like Chris Pratt. That's fine with me. I love Chris Pratt. I actually have, like, Chris Pratt, like, like, man, he's good. But Guardians of the Galaxy is such a good... It's probably, honestly, I really... Civil War in this is, like, it's my favorite Marvel movies. Like, I loved this movie, and I still love it, and I cannot wait for Volume 2. <laughs> Halloween, man. I will watch this movie every Halloween, because it's... It's Halloween, man. And I love the cover. I love how I got the original cover of the movie. That is the cover right there. Not the other bull crap. This is Halloween. It's my favorite slash. I like this more than Friday the 13th. Hands down. This movie is so good. The Hangover 1 and Part 2 and Hangover Part 3. Listen, I don't care what anyone says. First one is an instant classic. And this is my opinion. Don't hate on me. But I really like the second one. I know it rehashes the first one. But I'd rather watch the second one 
than the third one. The third one, I'm not saying the third one's bad. I just, i rather watch the second one because I will laugh so hard in one scene in the second one than I will laugh in any parts in the third one. But the first one you should always watch. The first one is amazing. I'm gonna do this separate, but Harry Potter 1, an amazing film, a great start to a franchise. Harry Potter 2, so much darker and so much better than the first one, but still has that kid-friendly feel. Harry Potter 3, where it got really good and really interesting, and a scene that really scared me when a werewolf, a guy turned to a werewolf and scared the crap out of me as a kid. Harry Potter 4, which scared the crap out of me once again when I was little, with a scene with a guy cutting off his hand and going into a pot. Yeah, I wonder what scene that is. Harry Potter, Lord of the Finks, in my opinion, probably one of my least favorite ones. If I had to pick one, none of these films are bad, but if I had to pick one, it'd probably be this one. And then this one, because these two movies, they're just pretty much, in my opinion, setups for the big finale. They're both setups, in my opinion, but they're really good, especially the sixth one, especially the ending. But these, these, these are still really good movies, I swear to it. Of course, the epic finale of part one and part two. Amazing, amazing endings to the franchise. My favorite Quentin Tarantino movie. Yes, this is my favorite. I don't care. It's my favorite. The Hateful Eight. I loved this movie. It was my favorite movie 2015. It was my favorite, and yes, I'm. I say I rather. I rather watch Star Wars. I know, but again, I chose this as my favorite movie, 2015, because it's it's, it's so. If you've never seen it, it's really good. Like I mean, it's good. The Hobbit trilogy. Were these disappointing? After rewatching the whole thing, yes. And I don't care if you hate the third one. I love the third one. Second one's the best one, and then the first one. But still, just an amazing trilogy. But the other trilogy we'll get to later is way better. Shut up, Marv! Home Alone. It's Home Alone. It's Home Alone, people. Don't care what you say. Childhood movie, and I still like the movie. Hook. Spielberg, man. He knows I direct a film. And it's such a good kid-friendly film that the whole family could come together and watch. And I really enjoy this film. Like, I mean, I really do enjoy this film. Just to let you know, I do own the second movie. I'll let you see. It's right there. It is Catching Fire, but it's the Hunger Games movies. It is Catching Fire. It's my favorite one, but it's like, it's actually kind of stuck right now. Right here, it's stuck. I just got this bookcase, but it's stuck, actually. And I want to yank it off. But I'll just, it's a good movie. It's the best one. First one, really good, entertaining, good starter. First two, very, uh, last two, very disappointing, in my opinion. But still, it's a good, epic conclusion, especially the second one. First one's just set up for the second one. But overall, I still really, really like this movie. This movie is better than some of the other superhero movies we get today. The Incredibles, man, this is, this is a good movie. I don't care what you say, it's a good movie, and that is why you're all excited for the second one. I know you are. I know who you are. We're all ready for the second Incredibles. That's why I have an Incredibles guy right there. It's the Incredibles. This is almost as good as Avengers, honestly. The Incredible Hulk. Way better than Ang Lee's Hulk, but still, it's not my favorite Marvel movie. I will admit that, but it's still a good Hulk movie. Definitely what they could do, but the new, like, Mark Ruffalo Hulk is way better than Edward Norton, in my opinion. One of my top five favorite movies of all time, Inception. Dude, if... Leo, Christopher Nolan, Hans Zimmer, it just... If you've never... If you've never seen Inception, I am... Like, I will give you a dollar if you go and watch it and say you don't like it. Inception is an amazing movie. We're gonna live on for Independence! Independence Day, man! This is a good summer blockbuster, not Independence Day Resurgence. But this is really good. Another top five favorite movies of all time. Well, at least the first three. Indiana Jones. Man, if if I could, I could do this whole rest of this video talking about this series. The first three movies are so good. And the fourth one has entertaining scenes, but very far off than the first three. But overall, I think you can enjoy all four of these movies. And it's Indiana Jones. Made me ball in the theater and have a poster Right up there, you can't see it, but that is Inside Out. One of my favorite Pixar movies. I'm serious. It's right next to Toy Story. This movie is so freaking good. Like, I mean, it is an amazing film. I wish this was not made for Best Picture because it was so good. Insidious and Insidious Chapter 2, both directed by James Wan and both scary, creepy movies. Not only the third one. I hate the third one so much. 
But these two are good movies, not as good as The Conjuring, but definitely really good scary movies. I have a poster right above my TV because this is one of my favorite movies of all time. Again, top five. Interstellar, I don't care what you say, it is my opinion. I love Interstellar. It is one of my favorite films of all time. I'll never forget the movie theater experience, seeing that theater and the scene at the very end, I was like, oh man, it was the best feeling of my life in a movie. There is two reasons why I own this movie, because one, it's really funny. Second, it's the reason why America almost went to a war with Japan or China or something like that, and that is the interview. Listen, this movie's really funny, and I own it because America, this movie almost started a war. Are you kidding me? That is so ridiculous that this film almost started a war. The Iron Man trilogy, listen, these are all good movies, but two of them have big problems. First one's a main one, this is one of the best Marvel films ever. Second one's probably my least favorite in the trilogy, and then the third one is a Shane Black movie just with Iron Man in it, in my opinion. Not a bad thing, but it's definitely, it's just, Shane Black's not the Iron Man director that I think he should have been. I think they could have got Jon Favreau back or something. He just, he's, it, he, it's not his cup of tea. It's not him. But I really enjoy these series, and I, I like, I, I have to own the Marvel movies because I gotta have all the cinematic universe. This is one of my favorite steel books, It Follows. Listen, when I reviewed this film, I said it was intense, and I enjoyed it. Well, I watched it again on TV, and I was like, it gave me like, I was watching it at nighttime and it was raining and it was like the best feeling ever. And so I was like, I gotta experience this feeling again. And I bought it and I watched it again the, like literally four days ago. And it was like at night and it was raining here. And I was like, this film, it's just, it's the perfect go home in the dark raining movie. It's so good. And the music, the music still stuck in my head. I killed me a shark. Love Jaws. Spielberg. Jaws. I'm wearing the t-shirt because this is my favorite movie of all time, and yes, I own them. The Jurassic Park collection. I have this stupid thing from last year still. I still have it, and I have Jurassic World. I have the poster right there. Same thing as this. I enjoy this movie. I don't care all you haters out there. Chris Pratt is amazing. He's my twin brother. And I love this movie. Jurassic Park Trilogy. First one. Every, I, I could always watch the first one. Second one, have a poster. Third one, have a poster, even though it's probably the worst one. Overall, I gotta own Jurassic Park because it's my favorite franchise of all time. Yes, including Star Wars. Well, I don't know. I like Star Wars a lot, but this is definitely Jurassic Park is my favorite movie of all time. Good. Childhood. Man, the scene in the. When he gets sucked into the, like, the board, like the actual game, as a kid. That scared the crap out of me. Like, I mean, it scared me to death, man. I was scared, but I love this film. It's so good. And Rob Williams, rest in peace. You'll always be my Jumanji Rob Williams. Not a huge fan of anime, I will admit that. I was little, I liked Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! But these films bring out good anime, kind of. And that is the Kill Bill Volume 1 and 2. Listen, these films, these are good movies. These are good <coughs> Sorry. These are good movies, and I definitely recommend them if you like, like, swords, ninjas, anime. These are your movies in live action from Tarantino Dialogue, which is always a plus. Kick-Ass and Kick-Ass 2. Kick-Ass 1 is so much better than Kick-Ass 2. That is my opinion. Matthew Vaughn, please direct Kick-Ass 3. But guess what? They're not doing it anymore because this one was so bad. I mean, it's not bad. It's, just, it's nowhere near like this. My favorite Matthew Vaughn movie by far, Kingsman The Secret Service. Such a fun movie. Like, this movie pokes fun at James Bond, and it makes James Bond better. I love this movie. It's so, it's so clever, and I love how clever it is. And I, I can not wait for the sequel. I'm so excited for the second one. When you hear the term buddy cop, it came from this movie series. Lethal Weapon 1, 2, 3, and 4. I enjoy all of them. I don't care if you don't like 4, but I love them all. If I had to pick my one favorite, it'd either be 2 or 1. It'd be one of those two. Then it'd be four and three. Three is my least favorite, but four is really I like four is funny, funny. Like I mean, it's, I believe I should put this movie in the E's, but it is live die repeat. But to me, it's Edge of Tomorrow. I hate the cover. I truly hate this cover. But Edge of Tomorrow is a great action film. It's a surprise movie. It's one of those movies that it looks really bad. It's not. It's really good actually. I own the prequels to own the original trilogy. 
Lord of the Rings, all three of them. The original, not the director's cut, because I like the original three more. Listen, the, it's childhood, all the way to uh, teenage years, and it's Lord of the Rings. It's They're great movies. I love them all. I might review them in December because I, cause I might want to. Who, who cares? I might want to review them right now. Lord of the Rings, amazing. There's my review. One of my favorite movies of 2015, The Martian. Such a funny movie. Did you expect it to be funny? Not yet to die. But it was so funny, and it, I'm so glad he was nominated for Best Actor, even though Leo won it. Yes. But I'm glad he got nominated. This is my mom's film, and I watched it with her, and I liked it a little more than I did the first time, Maleficent. Listen, I like Angelina Jolie's Maleficent. It's an enjoyable film. It's not amazing, amazing, but it's definitely a lot better than Alice in Wonderland and Alice through the Looking Glass. Ugh. Again, Clint Eastwood, my dad, a fistful of dollars and a for a few more dollars more. I've only seen A Fistful of Dollars, I've seen the ending and the beginning for a few dollars more, and I want to get the good and the bad ugly because these movies were so good that I want to get the third one because I haven't seen it. I know, don't kill me, but I want to see it really bad because these two were good movies, at least the first one was. The second one, I've seen parts of it, and it was, was alright. What a day! What a lovely day! Mad Max Fury Road! I have a poster right there above the whole toy collection, but you know why? Because one of the best action films I have ever seen in my life. Mad Max is awesome. Listen all you haters, I like the movie, okay? I like it. I'm gonna get Batman vs. Man in a couple weeks when it comes out. But I like Man of Steel, okay? I enjoy this movie. In my opinion, one of the most underrated movies of all time, Man on Fire. Man, this is a childhood movie. I'll never forget watching Denzel. This is where I, when I really started watching Denzel when I was a kid. This is the movie that really brought me into him and how he acted. And like, man, this is a good movie. The ending just, it, it's so sad and so like, so it's like a smooth, happy ending, but not really, you know what I mean? But it's so underrated. This is an underrated Tony Scott. Tony Scott, right? Yeah, underrated movie for sure. Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol and Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. The only ones I own. Do I own the three? First one is good, but I don't, I can never see myself watching it like I do these two movies. Second one I hate. Third one, just like the first one, I can never see myself watching it like these two. Like these two, these, these two are really, especially this one. This one's really good too, no doubt about it. But these two movies together, these are all I need to own. I cannot wait for the sixth one. I really can't for that one too. Monsters, Inc. and Monster University. Two really good movies. In my opinion, I like Monsters, Inc. way better than Monster University. This is an amazing film, and I love Mike Wazowski, and Mike Boo, boo, and then Monster University, an enjoyable prequel, a good Pixar movie. And it was when Pixar was in that stage of Cars 2 and Brave, and then they made this, and they're like, okay, you're, you're starting to get back up there, and they made Inside Down, and they're just, no, they're like, Pfft. Nightcrawler, man, is this a good movie. Jake Gyllenhaal, why was he not nominated for an Oscar? Mm, that's, mm, that's been, makes me so mad, but this is a really good movie. I can watch the movie in like September time for summer. In September I can just watch this movie for some reason. It's such a good movie too. It's well directed, well acted. Jake Gyllenhaal, man, get him, some, get him an Oscar. I don't care what you say. I like the original more, I will say that, but I like this remake of Nightmare on Elm Street. I don't understand all the hate. I like this movie. It, it's pretty good in my opinion. I like, I, 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 I'm supposed to do I like that not do. I got scared, ooh. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Neighbors. I'm gonna get Neighbors 2 when it comes out. This is a funny movie with great heart humor. It's a movie that I saw with my dad and I, it was just the perfect time. Me and my dad seeing a really funny movie, even though I like This is the End a lot more. One of the smartest movies I have ever seen and one of the best scariest psychopaths I've ever seen. No Country for Old Men. Holy crap, dude. Let's talk about just a smart movie. It's so smart and it's directed so well. And the ending, it's a realistic ending. It's like BAM! Yeah, we ended like that. All I'm going to say about this movie, give me a sequel. That's all I'm gonna say. Give me my freaking sequel and then I'll be happy. Give me my sequel. Last year in my collection, I hate on this movie. After rewatching it and how the Dwayne Johnson, like, I've been loving The Rock lately and after we watched this movie, I, I enjoy it. I enjoy this movie. It took a long time but I officially enjoy this movie. The most underrated movies of all time, The Place Beyond the Pines. Listen, man, if you want to talk about one of the best directed films I have ever seen, top 10 best directing, 
Even though there's some shaky cam in one part I don't like. But still, like, I mean, this movie is so original and so good. Ryan Gosling, dude, give this man an Oscar. I am an FBI agent. Point break. Yes, me and my dad. This is me and my dad's movie, man. This is me and my dad's movie. Point break is awesome. Patrick the Swayze is amazing. Keanu the bad acting Reeves is amazing. Point Break is amazing. And stripped by a woman. Boom! Talk about sexism. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Still to this day, creeps me out. Poltergeist. Holy crap, dude. Poltergeist. Don't watch the remake. Don't watch the remake. Watch the original. It's super good. And just so you know, Spielberg, he directed it. He totally directed this movie. I don't understand all the hate for this movie. I love Alien Aliens. I like Prometheus. It looks great, and it's a good movie. And I can't wait for the sequel. Alien Covenant? Yeah, dude. What is so bad about this movie? I don't understand that at all. I don't at all. La, get to the job. La, Predator. Predator. Uh, this is my favorite Arnold Schwarzenegger performance by far. Like, I'd rather watch this than the first Terminator or Terminator 2. Predator is amazing. And so claustrophobic. And I love the third act when it's Arnold versus the Predator. I love that. I love the third act. A movie I haven't watched in a, while, a long time. But it's definitely one of my favorite movies of 2013. I'm pretty sure. Prisoners. Dude. Talk about like if you want to see a, another version of Seven and it still be really good. Prisoners. Top five movies of all time. I know I've been saying that a lot because I can't. Jurassic Park is the one film I can say for a fact. It's one of my favorite films of all time. This one's right up there in Jurassic Park. Psycho. Oh my god. Talk about... I have to admit it. This is the, one of the best directing I've ever seen. Bad, the, this amazing. It gives me goosebumps. It's so intense. If you've never seen Psycho, please watch it. I love this steelbook. This is an amazing steelbook. And my name is the Lord. And I lay my something down on... Um, Pulp Fiction. Tarantino. Mwah. Second favorite, third favorite, right next to Django. Hatefully, I like a little bit more. But if you've never seen Pulp Fiction, you gotta own it. If you're a movie buff, you you have to own Pulp Fiction. It's it's Pulp Fiction. My second favorite movie of last year, and the movie that gave my man an Oscar, The Revenant. Dude, I love this film. I love it even more after watching it on Blu-ray. Man, this is the best looking Blu-ray I had out of. All of these movies. This is the one. This is the best looking Blu-ray I have ever seen. Another Tarantino movie and I really love the dialogue more than the actual like plot of how it goes back and forth in time. Reservoir Dogs. Talk about dialogue dude. T dialogue? You don't have to worry about dialogue in Tarantino. He knows how to talk in good diction. Talk about waitresses and paying money and then talking about cutting off ears. It's that kind of movie. All have those guilty pleasures and these are mine. Resident Evil. <laughs> these movies suck, but they're just so entertaining. Like, I can, I just, I don't know why, but I just enjoy these movies for some reason. I'm sorry, but they're part of the collection. A movie I enjoyed when I was little and I bought it and I really enjoyed it then. Now watching it, it's a fun time. Red, it's a fun movie, but you don't have to watch it ever. Like, if you ever never saw this movie in your life, you'd be fine. But it's a fun movie, I'm just saying. It's a good popcorn eater. Love the performance by Ralph Fiennes. Red Dragon, oh, man. Ralph Fiennes in this movie, it, it's not human acting. He is just, ew. I don't know, man. I'm out in Rocky. I'm out in Balboa. Yes, the original Rocky. You gotta own it. It's it's Rocky. It's Rocky. Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. This one's way better, and I cannot wait for War of the Planet of the Apes. That's one of my most anticipated in the past couple years. These movies are so good. These are some of the best remakes we have ever... Well, it's actually a prequel. Some of the best prequels we've ever gotten in a franchise Ever. This is the movie in the one collection I refuse to watch. My mom bought this for me for like five dollars because when I was little I walked into this movie and it like scared me half to death and it's always scarred me. The Ring. 
Listen, man. Like, you might watch the movie and say it's boring, but to me, it it just hit me in the wrong way when I was a kid, and I just never had the time to sit down and watch it, and I will one day. I will one day watch the full movie. I've heard it's a good movie, but it scares me half to death to watch. Man, we can't play baseball no more. The Sandlot. Shut up, Smalls. I mean, The Sandlot, man. This is a movie I have to watch in the summer. Every summer in June, early June, I did I did this year, I watched The Sandlot because it's the perfect summer movie. And again, when you watch it, you're like, can I not go back in time and just have like that kind of childhood, like a group of friends, and go play baseball in a freaking random baseball field? Like, that, that sounds so much fun, man. I love this movie. Listen, I bought this movie because I love The Rock. San Andreas. This movie is really cheesy, but man... The Rock is the reason to watch this movie. I'm, I'm serious. It's He is the reason to watch this movie. This movie is worth a Blu-ray to see him saving a woman from a collapsing building. But overall, it's an entertaining movie. It, I'd rather watch this than Independence Day 2. Freaking sucks. Saving Ryan's Privates. I mean, I mean, Saving Private Ryan. Sorry, I didn't mean to say that. Um, Saving Private Ryan, the movie that gave Spielberg his second Academy Award for Best Directing. This movie should win Best Picture, not freaking Shakespeare in Love. I'm sorry, this is a better movie. Um, this is an amazing film. The first 20 minutes of the movie, the, f the scene, the beach scene, you know what I'm talking about, you've seen the movie. This movie's brutal, and it's just, it's such... And the, the scene where the guy dies, and he says, Mommy, like that just, it hits me. That's why I go to war. That's exactly why. Okay, say hello to my little friend, Scarface. Oh my god, Scarface, dude. This is a classic. I don't care what anyone says. Scarface is an awesome movie. It's so smart, and it's such a good ending. Like, I love the ending of this movie so much. If you've never seen Scarface, I really recommend it. It's one of the best mom movies ever. Such fun 90s movies, even though I was born in 99. <gasps> Scream! All four Screams! I love these movies. I love them. Third one sucks. Fourth one, entertaining. And the first two, they're just... They're really good movies. I enjoy the first two a lot. But these movies, I enjoy the Scream movies a lot because I grew up watching them and the first one always scared me as a kid, but I love these movies so much. I wish I never bought this, but it's got a four pack. And it actually, it was like one dollar. And it has four good movies. You have Unknown, which is a good, good movie. Edge of Darkness, a great Mel Gibson movie that's so underrated. Training Day, if you've never seen Training Day, then you're missing out because Training Day, Training Day is... Training Day is amazing. Seven, one of my favorite movies of all time. Seven is the reason why I mainly bought this, but it had a good other movies. So I was like, it's one dollar, why not? But I, I just wish I had like the singular Blu-rays. I'm sorry, I'm so what is it called? DM it PSMND? What is it? S10? I don't even know. Either way, seven is the reason why I bought this. What's in the box? What's in the box? I love that song. I love that. Best horror film ever? Question mark. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I mean. It's not like The Shining or nothing. I mean, Stephen King might hate it, but this is, I don't know how you can hate this film. Two movies I really enjoyed, and I hope they make a third one. The Sherlock Holmes movies, man. Steelbook one because I don't know why I got Steelbook, but second one's better. But these are two really fun movies, and I really want a third movie really bad, man. Come on, man. That's your opinion, man. Big Lebowski, such a good movie. The Shawshank Redemption. It's the Shawshank Redemption. You've never seen it, then you've never seen one of the best films ever made. Talk about one of the most underrated movies of all time. Shutter Island. I love this movie. The ending, it's so messed up. It makes me mad to watch it, but it's such a really good movie by Martin Scorsese that I learned he directed after I watched the movie. Yeah, man, it's that good. Another TV series that I sh probably shouldn't be watching because I'm, well, I'm actually, I'm 16, so I, I, I can drive a car, so I think I'm allowed to watch most movies or shows. That's shameless. Um, just, this is, this is a realistic show. It's funny as heck. It's got the most amazing acting I've seen on television. It's so underrated. Like, I mean, if I had to pick one underrated show, it'd be shameless. I love this show like a lot like it I watch with my I watch with my parents I do if you've seen the show then you know what's in it but yes I watch my mom and dad and it I just I love Shameless it's just, the characters are so good in this show the Cornetto trilogy one of my favorite trilogies of all time Shaun the Dead 
one of the best zombie films ever. Hot Fuzz, a great point break ripoff if you ask me. World's End is actually my favorite. World's End, I love the World's End. World's End, it hit me on the right day when I saw it and I'll never forget seeing it with my dad and I laughed so hard. These trilogy, it's just a perfect trilogy with amazing directing by Edgar Wright. One of my favorites of the year, last year, Sicario, man. The guy who directed Prisoners, he's gonna do Blade Runner 2, he's gonna be nominated for Best Director, someday I already know it, because this film is so freaking good and it got robbed at the Oscars. Like, I mean, this film got robbed. This is my only M. Night Shyamalan Ding Dong film, and it's my favorite Shyamalan Ding Dong film. I'll hit one in the sixth sense. Signs. Man, talk about intensity, talk about suspense, talk about really good storytelling from using imagery. This is Signs. It's about alien invasion. But really, it's more about deep down Christian, Christianity, Christianity, that word. You know what I'm trying to say. This, this is a really good film. It makes it, I love to watch this movie every, like, fall. Like, it's just a good fall movie. Sounds of the Lambs. Anthony Hopkins won Best Actor. He's only in the movie for 17 minutes. It's that good. And the, the freaking... Bill Bob, what's his name? I forget. Oh, I know his name, I know his name, I know his name, I know his name, I don't know his name. Anyway, it puts the lotion in the basket. It puts the lotion in the basket! <laughs> That's just guy fall, and they crumble into Spectre because that was such a disappointment. Yes, Skyfall is my favorite uh, James Bond movie. I love Casino Royale, but this is probably my favorite. Even though I'm not the biggest James Bond fan, then I'm not Spectre, yes, I know, it's a disappointment, he wants to cut his wrist because he doesn't want to be James Bond anymore, oh well. It's really well directed and it was only like $10 at Walgreens and my, my dad were home alone, like, my dad was like, he hasn't seen it, I was like, you want to watch it? He was like, sure, and we came home, he fell asleep, and I almost fell asleep because this movie is very long and very boring and it's not the best one. But Skyfall, it's a must see. A really big reason why I bought this movie, it's a really good movie, it's a great movie, it's a great movie. And it won Best Picture, and I predicted, that's two years in a row, I predicted, I predicted Birdman, and I predicted this movie, Spotlight. Just a really well-acted movie with great dialogue, a great, interesting story, and a perfect ending. It's a really interesting film, it, it hits you in the feels, and it makes you think about it. It's just a really, really good movie. This is Childhood, and it's, my, it's one of my favorite superhero trilogy of all time, the original Spider-Man trilogy. One and two are amazing films, like Sam Raimi. Sam Raimi. And then the third one has its problems. It does, I will admit, him dancing like an emo guy. I know. But still enjoyable, but it's a it's a really good trilogy. I recommend. This is this is the reason I grew up loving these things and I love Super Spider-Man because he's my favorite superhero of all time because of these movies and I have to own Star Trek, Star Trek in the Darkness. I understand why everyone hates on this movie. Like all the Star Trek fans hate this movie. I understand why, but I enjoy both these movies very much in my opinion. I love, like, I do very much enjoy these movies and I can't wait for Star Trek Beyond. Rip Anton Yelchin. Like, that is, oh my god, dude. When I heard that he died, that sucked. But I, these are good movies, good reboots. These are the movies that made me like Star Trek. That's the truth. We all knew this was coming in this collection. You have to own them. And that is Star Wars. Star Wars, man. All the prequels in the original trilogy. Love them. Well, the prequels, Mm, third one's good. Third one's really good. The original trilogy, a masterpiece. Force Awakens, one of my favorite movies of last year. It's still like I know I put it my number three, but still, it's it, it could bounce up honestly because this is just a really good film. I cannot wait for Rogue One and Episode Eight and um, the Han Solo movie. This it's Star Wars, dude. I start. I'm a geek of Star Wars. I'm a true geek with y'all fans. High five, poop. Yes, I'm a geek with Star Wars. I'm a geek, geek, geek. I have Star Wars pajamas. I have a pillow. I have a poster over there of the original movie. Star Wars is life, in my opinion. My school name is Hillcrest High School. Just let y'all know that. And that movie, this movie was so inspirational that we have made T-shirts called Straight Out of Hillcrest, Straight Out of Compton. Listen. It's one of those movies again, after I rewatched it the second time, I loved it even more. Like, it, in the unrated cut, like, the main movie that's like, almost like three hours long, it made the movie so much better. Like, this is one of the, this is a great movie. I give this movie like a B, I wish I gave like an A. It's so good. Underrated comedy, capital yes. Stir crazy, amazing. I love this movie. Super A, it is 
so good. Like, this is good. Ted 1 and Ted 2. Enjoyable comedies that I enjoy with my mom and dad that we watch on TV all the time. So, I bought this because it needed to be in the collection. Terminator 1, 2, 3, and 4. Just watch the first two. This was a waste of money. I wish I just bought the first two, not three and four. I have not even watched three and four. I only watched one and two. That's why I have this, honestly. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Turtle Power. Don't watch the second one. Just watch this one. One of my favorite horror movies of all time. The Thing. Holy crap. If you've never seen The Thing, Dude, talk about just cringeworthy, claustrophobic feel. This is an amazing John Carpenter film. One of my favorite comedies of all time. I don't care if you don't like it, I love it. This is the end. Amazing comedy. I love it so much. Thor 1 and Thor 2. Enjoyable movies. Definitely the weakest out of the Marvel bunch, but I still enjoy them. I cannot wait for Thor the Ragnarok with Hulk. That's going to be awesome. I cannot wait for that one. But these two, definitely enjoyable. I'm this big of a child. The complete Toy Story collection with the big set, whatever. Listen, it's Toy Story. The first one's amazing, the second one's amazing, the third one's amazing. Literally, it's a perfect trilogy, and I cried like a baby when the third one ended. Like a baby! An another underrated comedy that I really enjoyed. I, ha I really have to admit it. Tower Heist. I enjoyed this. I enjoyed this movie really much. I'm a dude playing a dude disguised as another dude. Tropic Thunder. Classic. Want to talk about some crappy movies? I don't know why I own them, because they're stupid. <laughs> great. This is a great remake. Like, I mean, this is an amazing remake. Like I said earlier, one of my favorite TV shows of all time, The Walking Dead. I love The Walking Dead. It inspires me so much. Rick and Daryl for life. Like, I just, oh, I love it. And I can't wait for Negan for next season. Oh, all right. I know I was going to go through it, but I only have one minute left on my camera. Let's go this really fast. Wally, one of my favorite anime movies of all time. The Walk, an underrated, awesome movie. The Wizard of Oz, an amazing film. I love The Wizard of Oz. Whiplash, Whiplash is amazing. Wolf of Wall Street, my favorite Leonardo DiCaprio performance. World War Z, an enjoyable movie that I really enjoy. X-Men First Class is awesome. X-Men Day Future Pass is awesome. More is way more better. Zombieland is enjoyable. And Zootopia is one of the best films of the year. And that is it. That is my collection. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I did too. Sorry I had to go rush through those last ones. But I only have one man on my left on my camera. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I hope I can do this next year when my camera's a die. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please comment and subscribe. I'm sweaty.